Hi guys and welcome back to The Average. Guess what time it is? That's right, it's time for Inktober. In case you guys don't know what Inktober is and you've been living under a rock, I'm so sorry if you've been living under a rock, please, please get out of that rock. Inktober is a time to do a drawing a day using inks. Duh. It's been created by Jake Parker and he's got a list of prompts out there so if you're stuck on what to draw then you can follow along with that or you can do your own thing, it's all entirely up to you. The point of Inktober is to improve your drawing ability, especially whilst using inks. As you can see here, I've already done my first drawing which involved it could be, and some woman swimming in a river. I don't really know where my brain was at here, but I was just trying to have fun with it, which I think is something that we as artists kind of forget to do because there's so much pressure around us to get everything perfect down to the detail that we forget to just let go and enjoy what we're doing. Here I'm just marking out what I wanted to draw using a watercolour pen. I painted the base of this with a white wash because it's in my sketchbook so the drawing behind it was showing through and I'm coming to the end of my sketchbook so the, the, the drawings in the back of the sketchbook aren't very good so I'm trying to cover those up. I'm just doodling a girl here, I was thinking that I should really try to improve my weaker areas which is drawing men so as of tomorrow I'm gonna try and force myself to get outside of my comfort zone which you should constantly be doing if you're an artist because how are you gonna improve if you don't do that even though it's painful and we hate it and I know I just said have fun with what you're doing but also you have to learn so it's kind of a, a mix of two different things you have to improve and you have to still enjoy what you're doing so it's quite tough as we all know as artists it can be real tough so i'm just doing like an ink swash here i started using these colored inks that have just been on my desk for for weeks and i haven't used them so why not this is the perfect time to bust them out and like i said mixed media go for it have fun enjoy what you're doing this is a time to experiment it's time to improve and experiment probably said that about 10 times I cheated a little bit and I used Payne's Grey, I think it's Payne's Grey, um, acrylic paint because I actually don't have a tub of ink so I'd have to use my my ink pens for this and I really don't want to use all my ink up for a background colour when you know I could just paint it in. I, I do go in again with my ink pen to, to go over some of the finer details but I think this is fair enough at this point. So then I'm using a 
what am I using here? A brush pen with inks. It's actually a Japanese pen that I got from jetpens.com. Um, they do like a bundle of different brush pens and I got that and I think there was only one of them that I wasn't too keen with but the rest were amazing. So I've, de I've definitely ordered more pens from them and I suggest going and having a look at that website if you are into different pens or things because they've got low, like a massive selection. I'm not sponsored by them, obviously, <laughs> but I'm just suggesting if you guys want to experiment with some brush pens then go for that bundle because it's definitely worth, worth the cost and you get to explore a different range of things that you might not necessarily pick out for yourself. This pen's particularly good because it has on the tip, it's not a brush, it's like a sponge so it has like a firm quality to it so it can be a little less intimidating than a, a brush pen. Going in here with the finer details. I think I made kind of a mistake and I went in with like a wash of the inks and I was like oh I do a little bit of an ombre action in her hair but it just didn't work. But you know mistakes can turn to gold so always go for it don't be afraid. These are watercolour brush pens and they're amazing. They're a bit like mermaid markers I would say. If you can get your hands on some just go for it they're, they're really fun to use. Here's where I start to get really cray cray. So I stuck down some, oh my god, I forgot the word for tracing paper then and it was mini panic in my mind. Anyway, I stuck down bits of um, tracing paper in different parts of the um, illustration and then I just started drawing over the top because you know what, I felt like it. And actually, I think it really worked quite well. I've really been experimenting with collaging and sticking stuff on top of stuff just for the fun of it and I really liked how it turned out so I'll probably be doing more with it in the future. Then I went in and added some really fine little details to this drawing. I was planning on giving her um, like antlers or something like that and then doing sort of like a white forest behind her or something but I thought maybe that it would become too cluttered and I've done in my past drawings I've, I tend to do too much to it so I thought I'll just keep it simple this time. So I went back in with some of the watercolour markers just to highlight some areas and to bring in a little colour from the left side to the right side keep the colour concept of the image balanced. This is the final piece. Looking at it now I see that I probably have done something behind her head on the left to balance it out but you know I think it turned out okay in the end. If you want to see this image then you can head over to my Instagram page it's Steph Seed or at The Average. I also have a Facebook page The Average Seed and you can check out my comics that I do daily over there. If you want to see more content, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.